Okay, so we're following on from the instructions on how to make an object move. We're going to have a look now at how we can make an object disappear if we hit it. So if we just recap very quickly, I have a game here where I can move my cube around using my keyboard keys. That's because I've got a script over here, a text file over here, that takes a tap command here. So tap is equal to keyboard input. And depending which key we press, it either rotates our cube or it makes it move. And if we remember this true command, it's just making us follow the front of the cube rather than the exact line in Blender. So what I want to do now is add another object. I'm going to pretend this is my moon rock I want to gather. So I'm going to add a mesh. And just to start me off, I'm going to add a cone. So I just need to move this around to make sure it's where I want it. There we are. And I'm going to give this some properties. So I'm going to say this is going to be a dynamic object, just so I can test it. So if I run this, I can now push my object off. But what I really want to do is make this disappear when I hit it. So I've got a new text file over here, and I've called it collision. Here's my collision file. There's a similar bit of script, so we can take this line out here. We're going to import the Blender game engine. We're going to set our blocks equal to the current controller. I'm going to create a new object called Moonrock. And I'm simply going to say moonrock.endobject. So what I want to do now is if this object collides with this object, make it disappear. So we're going back down to my logic at the bottom here. We're going to use a slightly different sensor this time. So last time we used an always sensor, this time we're going to use a collision sensor. And I want to say if it collides with this particular object, otherwise it'll just vanish when it hits the ground. So again, I'm going to use my standard pulse except I'm going to turn on this property option here. I'm going to say, well, if it equal to material 1. So it just so happens that my vehicle here has a different material. And then I want to add another controller, Python script, choose my collision script and link these together. What's going to happen now is when this object touches this particular material, it will end the object. So if I come back here and run this now, it vanishes. Cool thing we can do now is duplicate our moon rock. So if I press Shift and D, I can duplicate several copies of this around, and it will duplicate my script with it. So if I run my game now, I can drive around and collect up my moon rocks.